Hello everyone and welcome! Today I wanted to put together a quick little video that I thought might be interesting for some of you. One thing that I did unfortunately neglect to do was track how many hours this took, so I might end up doing another one of these videos once I reach level 27. Heck, I might even track my progress from 5 levels or even 10, so if you like this kind of video let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see one on a much larger scale. Anyways, I did say that I did forget to track how many hours it took me to complete this level, but it only took me 3 days. The first clip showing my account at level 25 was recorded on the 24th of February, and I finished on the 27th. So it didn't take especially long to complete this little goal of mine. One of my first matches played was a ranked game, so I did actually receive 50% extra credits from that, and I think ranked games also give you a little bit more experience than standard matches? Although I could be mistaken on that. And actually a little spoiler alert for a video I'm doing on the future will be on how far I can make it in ranked. But anyways, back on topic. I didn't do anything particularly special in order to level up, I just kind of played like I normally would, completing missions whenever I have them, and my missions usually consist of Merc specific challenges, so I rotate between Mercs quite frequently when I'm playing. Though when I really want to grind those experience points I'll either play a medic or I'll play Artie and destroy some EVs. So maybe for next time I'll try something new, maybe something like playing only one class for an entire level. Well, anyways, after only 3 days of gameplay, I leveled up to 26! I did lose my last game unfortunately, as you can see here, but these were my results in the end. 39,000 credits in 18 cases. Pretty good. I actually thought I would get more cases than this, but 18 is still plenty, I think. So my plan was to open up all these cases and trade up to see how much luck I would have at getting a shiny new gold sparks card. And once I finished trading up everything I own, I would use up all of my leftover credits to buy more cases in order to reset my credits for the next time if I try doing this again. So that's what I did here, and here are my results. I unfortunately wasn't too lucky with my first set of case openings, but they were mostly going to be used as trade up fodder anyways, so I wasn't too worried about what I would receive from them. Here you can see me desperately trying to trade up all of my cards, and it is a bit annoying having to do this since every time you trade up you're given a warning, and then it shows you the card you've gotten, and then it opens that card, and then you have to exit out of it to trade up again, and yeah, so it takes a while, but I can't really complain all that much, I guess. Although this is something I wish would have an option to be able to trade up more quickly. But anyways, here are my first substantial trade ups to some silver loadouts. I was actually very lucky and my first silver trade up was a BL32 Fletcher card. Probably my favorite out of the 9 available for him, so I really lucked out there. And it's in the Urban Camo 2, which is also my favorite. And yes, I know the skins look like crap on minimal settings, but hey, what can I do, right? Well, I guess I could have turned the settings up to max for the inboxings in the trade-up, but... Alright, no excuses. We'll do this next time, I, I promise, okay? Maybe I'll even re-record the card displays with max graphics, depending on how lazy I am. Anyways, we'll see. The second silver trade-up was for Artie, and I'd say I wasn't too lucky with this card, but I did receive the Drice, which is actually my favorite gun for Artie. I haven't tried the BR-16 in a long time, and the Stark AR is pretty good, but I find myself having a much better time using a single fire weapon rather than burst rifles. I'm just not very good with burst rifles unfortunately. My accuracy isn't really the best, so I'm much better with spammy weapons than I am with ones that actually require skill to use. Probably why I'm so terrible with shotguns. And the Blitzlock too, oh my word. The thing about low fire rate weapons is that, like, I'm always late with my tracking. I mean, oh sure, I can place my crosshair over my enemies just fine, but always in between bullets. Ugh, so aggravating. But I digress. It's time for the moment I've been waiting for, and you too, maybe. Let's trade up for a gold sparks. Now I already have two of the same gold sparks loadouts, but with different camos, so I was a tad nervous for this trade up, and I actually thought that I received the exact same loadout again, and you can definitely tell my frustration in this clip, so let's have a quick laugh and listen to the live commentary. Right, yes. You gotta be fucking kidding me dude. That's like the third card I have. Wait, do I have all- th I have- okay. Never mind. So there you have it folks, three useless Sparks cards. 
Okay, well, maybe they're not that useless, but let's dissect my opinion on these cards. So for the two gold 172 cards, they have Quick Eye, which actually isn't all that bad. I hate how slowly I move when aiming down the sights of my Reviver Gun, so this would definitely improve that. Although Double Time, not really my thing, especially considering the new update that removed reload cancelling if you have this augment, and extra supplies will reduce the cooldown on Sparks' med packs by about 2 seconds, which is actually kind of nice. All in all, not a card I would go out of my way to use though. As for the 143 loadout that I just received, it has Cool, which has its use I suppose, but I mean Sparks is so squishy already that making her a sitting duck on a mounted machine gun just spells disaster to me. Cool would be much better used on a Merc with more health in my opinion. Drill though? I mean, machine pistols already reload very fast anyways, so that's two augments that are almost useless. And finally, the getup augment, which is great, but the greatness of this one augment doesn't really outweigh the other two in order to make this loadout card viable, unfortunately. So that was my luck with that, and since I'm all out of loadouts to trade up, I went ahead and spent the rest of my credits on cases. I didn't really expect to get much out of these, so I decided to quick open them all, but I felt a little weird doing it. I felt this warm, fuzzy feeling like I should expect something nice. So, I remained optimistic, and, well, this is the result. Oh. Oh. That's not bad. In before Cobalt, though. Am I right? Oh my god, another bronze! That's awesome! As if, dude. So yeah, pretty exciting, and almost made up for the terrible gold card I just received. Well anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I've got some gameplay related videos coming in the future, so I'll see you then. But until then, take care everyone.